Congratulations, Mr. Ambassador. If you could step up, it's my turn. If I were to ask each of you to give me one word which best describes Bill Cabinets, some of you would say statesman, but some of you would give me two words, and that would be true gentleman. I'll paraphrase how Kinsley Nakarko recently described a statesman. A statement, statesman is usually a politician or a notable public figure who has had a long and respected career in politics or government. As a result of their influence and reputation, they are expected to exhibit a certain level of morality and also live beyond reproach. They are revered, respected, and idolized. When they speak, even their adversaries give them their undivided attention. They are legends, and posterity always remembers them for the positive and enduring legacy they leave behind. Many years ago, John Walter Whalen wrote what is the best definition of a true gentleman. The true gentleman is the man whose conduct proceeds from goodwill and an acute sense of propriety and whose self-control is equal to all emergencies, who does not make the poor man conscious of his poverty, the obscure man of this obscurity, or any man of his inferiority or deformity, who is himself humbled if necessary, compels him to humble another, who does not flatter wealth, cringe before power, or boast of his own possessions or achievements, who speaks with frankness but always with sincerity and sympathy whose deeds follow his words, who thinks of the feelings and the rights of others rather than his own, and who appears well in any company, a man with whom honor is sacred and virtue is safe. Mr. Ambassador, tonight I have two things to give you. One of them is a letter, and on that letter I do notice that the return address is George W. Bush congratulating you on tonight's award. And also I have for you is the chairman's plaque, which on behalf of BCA, I'm glad to present to you. Thank you for all that you did. You gave me no indication. No, I didn't. You want to say something you can or you don't have to, whatever. Sandy, I... I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the award. There are a lot of other people that deserve it, but thank you for your, your recognition and your comments. And uh, I will always be grateful for the chance to serve the state of Alabama.